Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Akram and you are watching Knowledge360. In the previous video, I had explained about privileges in PostgreSQL database, where we are able to grant access to other users for any object such as table, view or the executable objects such as procedure and function. But in this video, we will see even if a user got grant or access for a table or object, we can still restrict the access from complete data and can provide selective authorization, which is called as row level security or RLS. The row level security in PostgreSQL provides a way to restrict data access at the row level based on the policies. It allows users to define fine grained access control to ensure users can only access data they are authorized to view or modify. So there are some key features of row level security. First is the flexible policies. It defines access policies based on specific conditions. Second is table specific security. It allows two individual tables without affecting others and transparent enforcement. Policies are enforced automatically for queries issued by restricted user. So now let's proceed to implement the row level security and we'll see examples. So first step is to create the roles and set up the tables. I will create the two roles, role user1 and role user2. I've created the roles and then I'll create the table called employees where name, department and user ID three columns are there. And then I'll insert some dummy data into the table. So I have inserted four record. Then I can select the data to view if data are inserted properly or not. So there are four rows. They are inserted properly into the employees table of HR schema within the company database. Before we apply any policies, we must enable the row level security for any table. So the syntax is alter table, then the table name and the enable row level security. So in our case, the table is HR schema dot employees. So let's enable the security. The table is altered. So we'll create the policies that will control the select, insert, update and delete operations based on the conditions. So for example, we'll create four policies. The first policy that we are going to create is to allow users to view only their rows. So the policy we create like this, create policy, then the policy name and then on the table name on which table we are going to create the policy and this is the action the action is for select and using this is the condition for incoming data the user id uh, column and the user id should be the current user so i am creating the policy the policy is created so after all the policies are created i will verify that and this policy ensures that user can only view rows where their user id matches the current user okay so the next policy i will create uh, where uh, we will allow the users to update their rows only so similar to the first policy we create the policy second one the create policy then the policy name on the table name and the operation for update and uh, the incoming data is user id equals to current user and with check is true that means it is uh, applicable for the operation so let uh, uh, create the policy for update policy the policy is created for update policy and this policy ensures that users can only update rows where their user id matches the current user and the third policy is an insert policy where we are allowing only super users to insert the data so for that we are creating policy called insert policy on the table hr schema dot employees table and the action is for insert and with check is false that means for any other users the action will not be performed so let's create the policy and this policy ensures only the users with the admin rights that means who created this table only that user can insert the data into the table the last policy we will create is a delete policy this policy ensures that user with their user id can delete their own data so they cannot delete the data for other users so similar syntax create policy then delete policy the policy name then the on table name then the action for delete and the using and um, user id is equals to current user so let's create the delete policy all the policies are created and this ensures that uh, user current user id can delete their own record okay we have created 
tables we have done the setup and we have created the policies as well and also we have enabled the row level security but yet we haven't given the privileges to other users to access the table and the schema or, or the database so in this step we will provide the privileges so that other users can access the database so first i will grant all the accesses on the employees table to user 1 and user 2 then i will grant all the accesses on the database called company to user 1 and user 2 then i will grant all the accesses on the schema called hr schema for the user 1 and user 2 now we can verify if the grants the table policies are created or not so for that we will use the dp command and we have logged in here into the psql tool to the company database and we have set the search path to hr schema so this will give me all the details so here we can see that uh, on the employees table we have accesses for user 1 all the accesses given and the grantor was the postgres user and for user 2 also we have all these accesses and the grantor was postgres and here if you see in the policies we have created the for policy view policy update policy insert policy and delete policy so all the policies we have created now let's see the examples if our policy is working or not okay the next step is to apply the policies the row level policies become active for the restricted users once the row level security is enabled for the table so we have done that and now i log in through user one so that i can show you the policies that we have created they are working as expected or not so for that i'll switch to the dweaver tool that uh, i'll use to log in into the user one so here i can provide the database name as company and username i can provide the user one and the password that password i had given and then i can connect the connection is established with the company database now let's set the default schema to the hr schema and i'll open up one sql editor the next step is to verify the policy enforcement so we'll test all the policies that uh, we have created if they are working as expected or not the first policy that we had created it was a view policy that means uh, we had mentioned that user can view only their user data so let's uh, first i'll query the data from the super user that should show all the data so here we can see that uh, we have four records so for user one we have two records here with devanshi and akram so when i log in through user one so if i query and the query result should return only two rows not all the rows because we have applied the policy that user with their own user id can view the data so now i am querying the database from the user one and it should return me only two rows okay we have got only two rows that means our policy is working although we have the grant access to access this table but still we can view only this data because this is the policy that we have applied for the user one so that means the view policy is working okay now let's move to the update policy so in the update policy we had mentioned that the user can update their user data only so here i'm trying to update the name of devanshi with the condition H department equals to hr so if you see the data so this query should update the name of this row devanshi and jyoti as well because the condition department hr applies to both the row but the data will be updated only for first row because the user id user1 matches for this record only so let's perform this update from user1 the data is updated if you see it updated only one row and we can verify the data from the super user the data for this record only updated and it was not updated for jyoti because the policy restricted that update so that means the update policy is also working now we'll try to insert the data from a super user that means this postgres user because this postgres user is the owner of this table and it got all the access to perform the insert so now let's try to insert this data first from the restricted user that is the user 1 so we have mentioned in the 
insert policy the insert operation cannot be done apart from the super user or the owner of the table so here we are trying to insert the data from the user one so it will still restrict the insert because we have implemented the insert policy so let's try to insert the data so the data is not inserted and we have got the error that it says new row violates the row level security policy for the table employees so now let's try to insert the data from the super user or the postgres user it should insert the data so the data is inserted and we can verify that as well so here we can see that the record with gts is inserted so that means the insert policy is working now the next policy is to check the delete policy if the delete policy is working or not for delete policy we have mentioned that a user can delete their own data only and they cannot delete the other users data so i'll try to delete the data of jyoti from user 1 so if you see the jyoti is of user 2 so let's see if user 1 can delete the data of jyoti or not and it should not delete because we have implemented the policy so let's uh, try to delete it delete is completed but if you see the updated row is equals to zero because that means the delete operation was performed but it didn't affect any rows so if i verify from the super user we'll see that uh, the data for jyoti was not deleted but if i perform the delete operation from super user it will delete the data so let's try to delete the record is deleted and we can verify that as well because this is the super user and it got all the access to perform the operation of delete and update insert and select as well so we have created four policies and we have seen all the examples that uh, policy is uh, working fine and as expected just like we had enabled the rls we can disable as well so the syntax is like this alter table table name then disable row level security so in our case the table is hr schema dot employees so let's disable the row level security okay the rls is disabled now i'll try to perform the actions uh, where policy should not uh, be applied so for the select policy if you remember we had applied that user can view only their data but since the rls or the row level security is disabled now if i query from user one it should return all the records of the table so you can see here the row level security is disabled and we are able to see all the data from user one so like this we can perform all other operations as well because we have got the access for all the privileges through the grant command so in this step we have disabled the policy but we haven't dropped the policy we can verify that using the dp command if you see here the policies are existing in the database so we can drop the policy as well like we had created the policy so to drop the policy uh, the syntax is drop policy then the policy name and then the on the table name so let's drop the policy for example say view policy i'll drop it so drop policy view policy the policy name on then the table name policy is dropped and we can verify that as well using the dp command from psql tool so if you see in the previous command there was view policy but in the next command the view policy is not returned that means we have removed the view policy from the table now we have seen everything about the row level security that uh, i should explain so the conclusion is row level security is a powerful feature for securing sensitive data at the row level by combining policies with the postgres robust role management we can create highly secure and tailored access controls for the databases so these steps and examples showcase how to implement the row level security effectively ensuring compliance and security in multi-user environment so this was all about the row level securities in postgresql database if the video was helpful do like the video and subscribe the channel to get the notifications in the next video we'll see schemas in postgresql database so let's meet in the next video till then take care bye bye